is Inside the NBA, presented by Kia, and it comes to you live from Studio J here in Atlanta. Early one tonight, Chuckster. Yeah, Kenny. Yeah. Yeah, 12, 28. What time we are? 12, 45. I'm down. No, 12, 45. No, 12, 45. Not, 45 it's, a, it's a very ambitious goal you have there, but I just don't see it happening. Ernie, remember that day when you wrecked that Kia? <laughs> <laughs> the studio. <laughs> no, y'all got out of tape for that. Ernie was driving it. The no. Kia, hey, the Kia people were so mad actually, at Ernie. Actually, it was a it was a different sponsor back oh, then. Yeah. Oh, they okay. was, but yeah, I had uh, I cut they were so mad I cut at that Ernie. corner just a little too close and then scratched that rim up just a but just you a smooth touch. With it, Lord. And then and then broke something off the set as well. So the okay. lady was like, "Are you know, serious?" I don't know what that. I don't know what just reminded you of that. No, when you say Kia, I, I just had to. Th- thought of you trying to be cool I, I wasn't trying to be cool I was nervous man I was I said that's not, there's not much in between oh, yeah, that camera and that <laughs> well, we saw it wasn't because you, you yeah, cracked the whole thing and the lady who, who was in charge of it was very upset with you <laughs> <laughs> she I, was ready to but, but I was very apologetic <laughs> yeah, and I was, and I was sincere in my apology I know they're they're scrambling for that video and maybe <laughs> yeah and, and because it was a different it sponsor, I'll show it. Blow, blow out Blow out the hey, box. Kevin Harlan, National Sports Media Association Sportscaster of the Year. Yes, Used well to call deserved. games there in Minnesota. The big ticket. Nice recognition. Hey, well deserved. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Everybody likes Kevin Harlan. With no regard for human life. Uh, how about Jaron Jackson Jr. coming out on fire at 15 in the first If he, he, he could have stayed out of foul trouble, he could have had 40 tonight. Nas Reed. One of my favorite players in the NBA. Man, he, off the bench, man. Not off much, their bench. Had not much better. In the oh, first Slow poke. How many in the first quarter? Ernie? Thirteen in the first quarter. Wow. Slow mo. Slow mo. I made Kyle the name up, Bernie. I know what the name. Is. <laughs> I know. Well, there's Carl Anthony Towns. Just trying to change it up. In transition. Jaron Jackson Jr. just going at folks. <laughs> off the this time, challenge. Blocked oh, by Gobert. Yeah. Okay. Block that. Block, block, that. Block, block, that. block that. Gobert, by the way, six blocks on the night. Well, Halftime and one face was 55. Oh, oh my God! That was the other night. That was oh, against God. Detroit. I was like, he didn't do he did that last again. night. Come on, man. And then, oh, yeah. one more look. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Duran, while I kiss the sky. Man, that's a grown man, now, folks. And so tonight, what are you going to do to to top that, Ant? Uh, uh, oh. How about this? He fired the oh. ball off of that window too. Yeah, most guys toss it. He <laughs> threw it. <laughs> Tell you what, man, this kid's body is incredible. He's big and strong, <laughs> athletic. And 22 years old. What's incredible? Anthony Edwards. This kid got a, just an unbelievable How about Santi Aldama? That's a, a nice backdoor cut. Mike Conley. Mm. The right-hand bandit. That's lefty. <laughs> a little more Nas Reed for you for the throw. Uh, Minnesota outscored them 37 to 17 in the fourth quarter. Memphis played them tough all night long. But oh, oh, damn! Oh, Stretch, Jack, block this, again. boy! Block this! I love that. He had 36, his seventh 30-point game of the season. But Anthony Edwards, after going one for five for two points in the first half, finishes with 28 on 11 out of 19 shooting. Minnesota shoots 55% and they're 21 and one this year when they shoot 50% as we pointed out earlier, five and eight now when they trail going to the fourth quarter, best record in the NBA as they win for the uh, fifth time. Uh, wait, are y'all telling me it's hustle two coming? <laughs> hey, hey, Adam. We put it in the atmosphere. We're talking to Adam Sandler. Yes, I yes indeed. Yeah. OKC, okay, again, as I said, I mean, you're talking about we, we just watched two of the top teams in the Western Conference mm-hmm. record-wise mm-hmm. in Oklahoma City and Minnesota. Yes. Who do you like better out of those two? Well, I like Minnesota better than OKC because of Anthony. Because what you saw tonight was I mean, a- OKC's got SGA. But uh, I, I think that that's a good question. But you I caught him, Arnie. No, he, that's, he no, I, no. I like good question. I, I like it's a good. Uh, you have to think about it. Yeah. I probably would go with Minnesota uh, if they played each other, because man, I tell you what, Shea and Anthony, they are the future. 
That's a great question, Ernie. But like I say, I'm still I'm still in all on Denver and the Clippers. I would go Minnesota, only because the both teams lack experience together in the playoffs. But at least you have Conley and Gobert who has experience in the playoffs. And I just think the Minnesota. Anytime it comes down to a tiebreaker, kind of like that, it's that the Minnesota defense, man, they they're solid. They're they solid are, but like I say, man. when they play against a team. Like Jaron Jackson didn't have no fear of them them defenders. You like everybody say he got great defense. Jaron Jackson didn't care. If he hadn't have got in foul trouble, he'd have had 40. He was ducking on them dudes like he was at the YMCA. Like he had uh, uh I, I you know, those guys are big, they're great shot blockers, but if you're able to move like okay, uh, excuse me, like uh Memphis did tonight and shoot threes, you they're well, gonna struggle. Well the first time in my 13, 12 years here, all you guys are wrong. OKC has a has a better because they they play a certain way system. They use a system. Minnesota is heavily heavily dependent upon Anthony Edwards. So you saw we had a poor first half. What if in the postseason he has a, a, a great first half and a poor second half? OKC everybody touches the ball. They move the ball. They play a certain way. And even though SGA is in the uh, MVP conversation, they are not heavily relying on him. So I'm gonna have to go with a OKC because of the system. We will uh, we will take a break here on Inside the NBA. We have more highlights still to come on a five game night in the NBA. Shaq and Charles can't pronounce Gilgis correctly to save their life. Thunder up says Shaq Gilgis Alexander. You know who the hell we're talking about, fool. <laughs> make, make it easy on yourself, hey, Chuck. That's right. right. Yeah. Chuck, it's, it's Gilgis, not Gilgis. Yeah. Hey, you know who the hell we're talking about, fool. <laughs>